to acknowledge the numerous interventions made by His Excellency John Ramani Mahama and the NDC government in the provision of access to quality education in the country. The 200 community day school projects, popularly called Mahama Schools, is providing access to many children who otherwise would have dropped out of school. We are grateful to the NDC government for citing one of the schools in the North Town District. Ladies and gentlemen, Mendokbena Mekata Novino Akenami. It is a great honor done me by the chiefs and people of Nepal traditional area in extending an invitation to me to celebrate the 62nd annual Mepe Apenoto Festival. Indeed, I'm equally excited to be part of this grand endeavor, and I wish to express my profound appreciation to the chiefs and people of the traditional area for this honor done me. North Tongu is a beneficiary of one of the community day senior high schools, which I'll be returning here in a few weeks for us to join each other to commission. I'm informed the project at Bolu is an advanced stage of completion and will be completed in the next few weeks. And so I invite all sons and daughters of Mepe and Bolu once again to join me very soon to commission the new senior high school. Your four existing senior high schools in this district are also receiving numerous infrastructural developments, expansion including dormitories, classroom blocks, and internet computer laboratories. At the lower level, government has constructed many classroom blocks and kindergartens to help improve the quality and access of education at those levels. You may also have seen from the new structures at the Mepe Roman Catholic School to Dadome, Degome, Oko, just to mention a few. Also, in the recent distribution of vehicles to secondary schools and educational institutions in the nation, we did not leave out the schools in North Tongue. It's important to note that the Three Kings Special School in this district received a brand new bus. And the new district education office also received a vehicle. Mr. Chairman, I'm glad to point out that in line with our agenda for the holistic development of our dear country, MEPE has, beyond the education sector, received other development projects which include massive rural electrification projects and over 100 community connected to the national transmission grid in the North Tongu district. I'm a very happy president. The last time I came, there was some disagreement that made some of the component parts of the Adar state refuse to pledge their allegiance. Today, I was noting very carefully, and I'm very happy to note that that matter appears well on the way to resolution and has opened the way for all the clans to express their allegiance to Nene. And I think that is a good thing. In unity lies strength. It is your unity, your cooperation, your collaboration, your solidarity that has made the Adan state what it is. 
that has made it respected as one of the important traditional areas in our country. And I urge you to continue to maintain that unity. Festivals are events that bring people together to reflect on the issues of development. And as a Futufiam, despite the merrymaking that we enjoy during as a Futufiam, I note that the key focus of the festival continues to remain on how to develop the Adar state. And so I wish to congratulate all the citizens of Adar and the Adar for continuing to maintain the focus on development of the Adar state, even as we continue to enjoy ourselves during the festival. I also wish to thank you for the very warm welcome you have given me upon my arrival here, and to thank Nene Ada for the very kind speech she has made, recognizing the various development projects that government has been undertaking in this area. I've always said when I attend this festival that government will ensure that Ada gets its fair share of the national cake and its fair share of development. And I'm happy to note that, yes, you continue to get your fair share. The last time I was here for the Asafutufiam, Nene, in his speech, told me that the road was the most important thing. And that if I fix the road, that will be the most important gift to give to the people of Ada. At that festival, I promise you that by the time I come back next time for the festival, I'm sure that the roads will not be an issue of concern to Nene. And I'm happy to note that in your address, you recognize the very, very significant work that has been done on the roads uh, uh, in Adan so far. 22 kilometers of road from Kase to Adanfwa has been reconstructed. Not only reconstructed, but it has been sealed with asphaltic concrete. And this will make the road more durable and make it last for a longer time. I'm happy to note that the work is nearly in completion, is almost entering a downfall, and I urge the contractor to continue and finish it. After the asphalt has been laid, the contract for marking the road will be done, and it will uh, make the road uh, look beautiful and safe for use. We're also asphalting the roads in Big Ada, which will make a facelift for the town and also make the roads very more trouble. We're also rehabilitating the road from Okansekope to Anyakpo Feeder Road. This work is ongoing. We will also tackle the regraveling of the road from Totime Kope to Okansekope and also rehabilitate the 4.8 kilometer road from Lufenya to Balikope, that is a feeder road. I'm also pleased to announce to you the contract has been awarded for Kase to Tametoku to Kanja Road. And the contractor has already been handed over the site. Tenders are currently being evaluated also for the contract to be awarded of the road from Asibekope to Afie Nyegba Road. And so soon a contractor will also be selected to move onto site on that road. Just a few months ago, I was here to do a very significant short cutting at the Ada Technical School in order to expand its capacity for taking in more students to give them technical and vocational training. As I said, a priority of Ghana's and this government's education focus is on technical and vocational training because we believe that by giving our young people skills to go into the world of work, it will make them not only useful citizens, 
but will improve their ability to earn a decent income. And so I was at the Adan Technical School under the development of skills for industry projects to cut the sword for several projects to be undertaken. These include teachers' accommodation, it includes technical workshops, it includes hostels, and so many other projects. Aside from that, as you are aware, two of the new community day senior high schools have been allocated. One is supposed to be at Sege, and the other is supposed to be at Kase. The contracts have been awarded, and the GET Fund is in the process of paying mobilization so that the contractors can move to site. Work is ongoing on the construction of three chips compounds at Agokpo, Pute, and Tamatoku. One of these is being funded from the monthly deductions that are being made from my salary and that of all my ministers and other government appointees. The CHIPS compounds are an integral part of our quality healthcare delivery system because it allows us to extend service to localities that will otherwise ordinarily not be served. Nene, I wish to also inform you that just yesterday, Parliament approved five new polyclinics for the Greater Accra region. And I'm happy to announce that Sege is one of the towns to receive a new polyclinic. When I last attended this festival, I mentioned that the Ada area has a huge number of potentials, not only for tourism, but for several other economic activity. And we can only tap and harness these opportunities when we focus on the long-term developmental needs of our community. Government has identified this area as very suitable for shrimp and aquaculture development. Already I'm aware that there's an investor who has put his resources and money into shrimp uh, cultivation. Government has also done an overall feasibility study for exploiting the full potential for shrimp cultivation in the Adan and Keta Basin areas. And so this is a project that we intend to kick off. The market is available, and I believe that if we develop it on an outgrower system, a lot of our young people will not only get involved, but it will enable them to earn a decent income to be able to improve their lives. Currently ongoing is collaboration with the Indian government to construct a greenhouse tomato research center at Jetro Kope in Adan. This center is going to introduce new methods of planting as well as processing of tomato, and it will create a ready market for tomato farmers and for employment for the people of Adan. And so I urge you to take advantage of this project so that Adan can become the center of tomato production in the whole of Ghana. And so long live the Adan states, long live Asafutufiam, long live Ghana, and God bless our homeland Ghana. Thank you very much.